Welcome back to In the Paint. Over in Illinois, Marshall has won their last three games and Robinson has won their last two. The two teams clash tonight in Robinson. And I love the ball movement here by Marshall. Chaz Lindsay hits the corner three for the Lions. Marshall takes a three point lead. Robinson's Connor Griffin finds Wes Harrison underneath for the bucket. Maroons trail by one. Keegan still here on the next play to Chaz Lindsay. Again, he's going to knock down the three. Marshall takes a four point lead. Brody Scott here muscles his way to the hoop. Love the toughness. Robinson gets the bucket. They lead by one. But Marshall's Josiah Wallace finds his way to the hoop here. And Marshall goes on to beat Robinson 69 64. Congratulations to Marshall's Keegan Steele. He scored his 1,000th point tonight. North Vermillion headed to Fountain Central tonight. And after trailing at the half, North Vermillion's Will Martin will shake, bake, and cook up a three ball there. But Fountain Central would come right back. Clayton Corey drives. Ethan Woodrow cleans it up for the finish. And after a rebound here, Cody Wright's going to steal the ball right back. Hits Martin for the easy two. North Vermillion would tie the game at 44 all in the fourth. Tim Ellis catches the bad pass and number three hits from the corner for the Mustangs. But North Vermillion more resilient in the end. Corey Davis swings it over to an open Zach Bukis who rips the nylon with that tray. North Vermillion takes it 55-54. Washington took on Mount Carmel over in Illinois tonight. Senior night in Mount Carmel as the Aces play their final regular season game against the Hatchets. On Washington's first possession of the game, Colton Garland hits the long jumper putting the hatchets on the board. A few minutes later, Matthew Stevens dishes inside to Connor Brown, who lays it up and in. Washington leads 8-2. Then Brown follows that up with a triple from the corner, giving the hatchets a seven-point advantage. Mount Carmel hanging around, though, as Jackson Marco lays it up and in off the inbounds pass, and it's 13-7 Washington after one. In the second quarter, Levi Laws dishes to Sam Deicher. He knocks down the tray from the corner to bring the aces within five. But from that point on, it was all Matthew Sparks in the hatchets. They go on to win 71-49. Terre Haute South took on Southport tonight at Southport. They fall 79-46. Their record moves to 15-6 on the season. They return home tomorrow to take on Danville before finishing up their regular season schedule at Sullivan on Tuesday. Well, let's go to the fans of the night. Northview, first of all, I love the Sports Center theme. Totally dig that. Clay City next. Are always out there in Clay City. Cloverdale fans always come loud and proud in that gym. Next up, Rockville. Oh, wait, look at the whiteout. I love it. I'm all about the face paint. I'm all about the enthusiasm there. Turkey Run, they always come out cheering loud and proud. South Vermilion, like the blackout. Again, dig the face paint. And up in Robinson, again, the Sports Center, Center themes, we've seen them a lot this season, and I love them. Keep them coming. Time now for the Sports 10 Fantasy Stars of the Night, brought to you by Joe's Barbecue and Bakery in Clay City. Great buffalo wings there, by the way. Marquise Moore from Cloverdale, 35 points on the night. Jalen Loniger of North Davies, 23 points. Charlie Imany from Terre Haute North, 22. Chaz Lindsay of Marshall, 25 points. And Josiah Wallace finishes with 24 points. There will still be some girls high school basketball regional games played tomorrow. Here is what we know at this point. Everything is still subject to change though due to weather. We'll know more tomorrow. You can follow us on Twitter for those updates. The Bar Reef girls basketball team will play in the regional semifinal game tomorrow night at 7 p.m. They would take on Wood Memorial at West Washington. They will also play the winner of Borden and Springs Valley in the regional final on Monday. The White River Valley Girls Basketball Regional has been postponed until Monday and Tuesday where they will take on Indianapolis Tinley in Shelbyville. North Knox Girls Basketball Regional at Paoli has been changed to 7 p.m. tomorrow. They will be taking on Providence and the title game will be on Monday. And finally, Northview will be playing their regional game at Danville tomorrow against Lebanon. Be sure you're safe traveling to all those games this weekend. That's it for In the Paint. Have a great night and please stay warm.